In this lesson, I want to show you one package that may help you structure your Laravel applications in a modular way. So there is a package by Nicholas Widard, author of Asgard CMS, where he reuses that package to make a modular structure. And the uh, package is pretty popular, 2,000 stars and a few years old already, so it has versions and it has followers. Uh, and how does it all work? Uh, it basically offers you to structure your application in modules folder and every subfolder is some kind of a module. So for example, you have a blog as a separate module or a shop for a separate module. In my case, I tried it with the module FAQ. I thought it's a pretty good example because FAQ is kind of a separate thing that you can work on whatever project you have. You may have like terms and conditions, FAQ page, and then uh, if a new developer starts with your team, he could work only on FAQ module structure and he would know where to find the stuff. Now, how does it all work? Installation of a package is pretty simple. You just install the package, you publish the vendor, and then that's important thing. You edit your composer JSON uh, PSR4 to have modules folder auto load it and then don't forget to run composer dump auto load afterwards and I've done it already uh, and I will show you the whole thing how it's been done so this is where it starts composer require uh, artisan vendor publish composer dump auto load and that's it and then you can make new module by running artisan command module make FAQ I called it FAQ and it creates a folder in modules so folder called FAQ for the module name uh, and then the structure of a module is also generated for you automatically, the folders, and it's really, really similar to typical Laravel project, like you would create a new Laravel project. So it's a mini Laravel project inside of your main project, uh, and it's really convenient. The structure is really familiar. Controllers, uh, config, middleware routes, uh, database migration, seeders, everything is inside of it. It's just separated into your module's FAQ folder. Now, after creating the module, I've created the structure for the module. Uh, these, this is the list of files. So I start with models, uh, and uh, my module will consist of two uh, models. I've messed up with the uh, syntax a little, but then it succeeded. So there are separate artisan commands to generate something inside of the module. So module make model, FAQ category, and FAQ question, and then it generates uh, these files. For some reason, uh, Nicholas, the author, called it entities, so it's not models or it's not inside of app uh, folder, it's entities. But inside of it, it's a general Laravel eloquent model, so nothing really new here, it's really familiar. So I've created a model category with questions with relationships and then FAQ question uh, model with, again, relationship back to belongs to category. After models, I've made the migrations for them, for both, so make migration and all the artisan commands require a parameter what model, what module to stick that in. And migrations are also a familiar thing, so database migrations, two files, and the same good old Laravel syntax. So just fields, foreign keys, timestamps and everything you need. So you do migrations. Uh, then uh, I tried to make a controller, but the uh, system told me that controller already exists. Then I went to uh, that FAQ model HTTP controllers, and this was pre-generated for me. Uh, except for this one, so this was the line I've added. Uh, so this was pre-generated for me, uh, like that. It was like that by default. So it generates a general resourceful controller with FAQ index as a view. And then that view, notice that it's prefixed with namespace. So it also generates resources views index. And that index extends also namespace FAQ layouts master. So if you want to change anything in master, you have full HTML control. Or in index, you do whatever you want. And then I try, started to fill in the content. So for FAQ controller, I'm getting all the categories with questions, passing it into the view, and then doing for each magic to show that FAQ. And I'll show you how it works, actually. So this is the final result. Page slash FAQ, which I didn't actually uh, build myself. It also comes with routes, which are automatic. So routes, web, PHP, this was generated. So prefix FAQ and main page. 
So this was also generated uh, and the page just works. Uh, what I've done also is cedars. So cedars can be also generated here. So make seed, make seed, and then you end up with database seeds files. So the main is FAQ database cedar, and then I've created a separate class, seed FAQ questions table cedar, with some dummy questions. Well, semi dummy, it's pretty real. It's pretty real in the uh, in the real life examples. Uh, just seeded the data, and uh, then what I've done a little differently, I've published the migration. So you can publish some stuff from your module. Uh, I think it's config. Um, wait, I'll find it actually. Uh, artisan commands, artisan commands, and publish. Publish migration, publish config, and publish translations. So in my case, I need to publish migrations on top of the existing ones uh, previously. So it copied the migration files, and then I, will, I was able to run PHP Artisan Migrate um, like it was in the main project with two tables then created. And then uh, I needed to run module seed, but not DB seed, not the main. So seeds weren't published. I just run uh, RAM module seed FAQ. Uh, and that's it. Basically, that's a simple module FAQ, which contains almost a typical Laravel structure and could help you to structure your project in a modular way. So in addition to FAQ, I would, as I said, I would be able to create module shop, for example, or blog or whatever else you want. And then uh, people who uh, work with FAQ module, for example, they encounter the bug or something, they know exactly where to find all the structures for that exact module.